My name is Robert Lyon. I live in Muncie, Pennsylvania. Okay, and um, what have you brought to the History Harvest today? I brought a Civil War mm -hmm. soldier's ID tag, or what they now call a dog tag. Okay. But these were never issued by the government mm -hmm. until the First World War. But this man was a Civil War veteran, and he purchased this ID badge to wear in case he got killed. He wanted his body identified. Okay. And he's a man from, from Muncie. Wow. Down in Milton. Um, no, I'm in Milton. Oh, he's from Milton. Hometown <laughs> is Muncie. Okay. <laughs> so, wow. Do you think you could maybe hold that up to the, to the camera for us? I so could do that. It? It's a small item. It has a, a hole in it. They would just put it on a string and wear it around their neck. Okay. They would have to purchase this. And uh, each regiment had what they called a sutler, who was a merchant who mm -hmm. traveled with the regiment. And he would have these, they had to purchase them from him. Wow. But he had other supplies that the soldiers would, would need, like tobacco and sometimes booze and, mm -hmm. and maybe smaller pieces of clothing and things like that. But uh, if the soldier could afford it, I can't tell you how much they cost, but probably, I'm, I'm guessing, maybe a dollar or two. Okay. But the, uh, the sutler would, would stamp out uh, this little, about the size of a quarter, mm -hmm. about the size of maybe a 50 cent piece. And they would put on his name and uh, also um, information about his either his hometown or our contact person. Okay. So in case he did get killed. Uh, most, I'd say the majority of those killed the war were not identified. Mm -hmm. Because they, by the time they, the battle was over, uh, they started to decompose and they wanted to get them buried just as soon as they can, so they put them in a mass grave. Uh, some soldiers who didn't have one of these, maybe right before the battle, would take maybe just a piece of uh, paper okay. and write their name mm -hmm. and pin it to their back or something like that. And uh, so they could be identified. Wow, so how did, how did you acquire this item? Is there a story behind that? <laughs> well, I'm a Civil War collector. Okay. I, I've, uh, practically all my life I've collected things. I was very interested in the Civil War. And mm -hmm. I found this in a uh, an antique shop, and, and I bought it and did the research on it. I was able to uh, come up with quite a bit of information on this man. As I mentioned before, he was, um, his name was Anson Longan, L-O-N-G-A-N, mm -hmm. and he was born in uh, 1841, so he was 20 years old when he went in the Civil War in, in 1861. He was, uh, um, later on, after, after the war, after he came home, he was married, and he had uh, nine children, and uh, he was a laborer and worked here in town until uh, he died in 1907. Actually, he was run over by the town trolley oh. and killed down here oh, on, on Front Street. And he is buried. I have pictures of his grave. Okay. Do you want, do you want to see those? Sure, you can maybe hold those up to the camera for us, too. Yeah. This is his uh, pictures of his tombstone here in okay. the Harmony yeah. Cemetery. Mm -hmm. He lived uh, on Front Street. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's number 242. There's a picture of his, of his oh, home okay. here on the main street. He was interested in uh, the, uh, the GAR and was a member of that. The GAR was uh, the veterans organization. Civil War veterans uh, could join the, this uh, uh, organization. It's more or less equivalent to what we now know as the American Legion. Okay. But, it was, but that wasn't started until World War I. But the World War, or the, the, uh, the Civil War veterans, would join uh, 
the GAR. Okay. And they had reunions every now and then. Mm -hmm. And this is a photograph of the, um, the local reunion group. Okay. And they, they were meeting in Muncie mm -hmm. in the year 1892. Uh, okay. And he is, he, uh, in newspaper reports, uh, mm -hmm. those who attended, and his name uh, is listed there as attending this uh, reunion. Okay, wow. The Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Monument at Gettysburg uh, lists all the names of the veterans by by the various units, the various regiments that they belong to. And he is listed on here as being a member of Company H okay. and was at the Battle of Gettysburg. Wow. It's interesting that he went through all of these battles. Uh, he also had the, uh, some of the battles uh, marked on on his on okay. the back of his ID. Okay. Badge, mm -hmm. and uh, he went through all of those battles and uh, came home to be run over by a trolley. Wow, that is so strange to think about. Wow, <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh my god! Wow. So it's, you said he was in Gettysburg. So what other battles were was he in? You know? Some of the battles. List it on here. You might, if you're able to get a close up of the mm -hmm. of the uh, of the, the ID the badge, badge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're listed in here. Okay. He's, he was at the Battle of Fredericksburg and the Battle of South Mountain, which was uh, just about the same time as the Battle of Antietam. And he he okay. happened to be in both of those, and then uh, his unit was sent down to the. Uh, Peninsula, uh, uh, where Williamsburg is located in, in Virginia, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he fought all the way through those uh, battles up, up to uh, Williamsburg, and uh, later on he was in the Battle of Chancellorsville okay. and Gettysburg and mm -hmm. so forth. Wow. So he saw just about all of the battles that, uh, mm -hmm. along the East Coast. Mm -hmm. you know, the, which the uh, Army of the Potomac uh, was involved in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> are there any other things that you would like to add about this person and maybe anything that connects to Milton history besides that he was on, um, that, he, that he lived there? I shouldn't say. No, I, I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to contact and find any descendants mm -hmm. uh, of the, uh, the Longhead family, and I found uh, a name in the, uh, the phone book I called. This has been about 15 years ago, and uh, I spoke with the grandson mm -hmm. of, of this man. Got a little bit more information. Okay. I have no idea if there's any more descendants in the area or not. Mm.